I had to hurry and warn my master before it's too late. As usual, he'll be sitting on his crystal throne in the lower level, doing nothing. <sighs> right then, off we go now. Hmm, how did that go? I'd better have a look in the manual. Hmm, I can't understand a single word of this senseless chatter. Whatever. I have to find the stairs down. Don't these tunnels ever end? Talk about walking yourself to death. For the life of me, I'll never understand why heroes always want to visit our dungeons. <laughs> if I were a dungeon lord, I wouldn't have to waste my time running around like this. <laughs> but my time will come. <laughs> I could keep getting lost in these damn tunnels, although it's just one long passageway. Wonderful! I finally reached the Master's dungeon! He can only build things here, in his own area of influence. Everything in this area belongs to him, no matter who built it. <laughs> so, another look at the manual... What? Damn! I could have had a better overview all along. Apparently, there's been a spell on me the whole time. Well, it's time to put an end to that, let me tell you. Ah, now that's what I call an overview. There are the stairs heading down. All I have to do now is use the lever beside the gate. I'd have a closer look at the thing, but the manual says something stupid about selecting things with a mouse. And I have absolutely no idea what they're going on about.
Your faithful servant is sure to reach you soon. Ah, and done! Master, I, your faithful servant, Mr. Sidekick, wish to warn you. Your treacherous, devious girlfriend, Calypso, is planning to overthrow you. So, is that what I'm planning? Um... I'll leave you alone with your little... Master, I'm hot! You master, I was right. That treacherous Calypso opened all the entr- Attack! Oops, how clumsy of me. I do hope you can deal with this plethora of heroes, dear. For otherwise, you'll lose your throne and then I'd be forced to move up. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's over between us. Master, it looks bad. I'm afraid you've already gotten a bit... Unlike some keepers, dungeon lords such as yourself, Master, are very interested in seeing heroes stream into their dungeon. For not only do heroes carry gold with them, they also collect soul energy. But they only collect the latter when they're enjoying themselves. It is therefore imperative for us to first satisfy those heroes, and then cut them down. <laughs> Pretend the heroes are like little pigs. We cherish and feed them until they become happy and fat, and then... <laughs> ah, well, you know. By the way, Master, your buddy, Diablo, works exactly the same way. He throws the hero whatever scraps they need to amuse themselves and sends them just enough monsters to ensure that they have an exciting but survivable struggle. Okay, maybe he hasn't quite gotten the knack of cutting the heroes down at the right moment. <laughs> and usually ends up losing out in the end. <laughs> but hey, let's face it, you are way more competent than that Diablo. In this particular case, the pigs are in the majority and uh, heavily armed, so I would suggest we make a uh, strategic withdrawal. Build as many prestige gimmicks as possible. This will make you more powerful and help us to escape. We should hurry. We need to reach a different level before someone manages to destroy your dungeon heart. Excellent work, Master. I think you should now at least be strong enough to escape. 
Those are the stairs we need to reach before your dungeon heart is destroyed. We have to go through this gate. It can be opened using a lever in the vicinity. Work, Master. Now there's almost nothing in our. We made it! We escaped! However, I'm afraid you lost your throne and are no longer Prince of the Underworld, but rather simply a dungeon lord in the catacombs again. But fear not, Master. We will soon have you back on your feet, and then we will carve you a path back to the throne. And then... Well, of course, we will take our hideously cruel revenge on Calypso. 
But before we can do that, you will first have to gather new strength and power. Let us plunge the land into chaos and distraction. <laughs> Calypso has betrayed you, but she won't be on your throne for long. Recover your strength and exact your terrible revenge on her. Ugh, those greedy halflings from Yum Yumville are an annoying folk, master. They are constantly celebrating some festival or another, and laughing and singing and dancing. Ugh. But soon we'll put an end to all that. <laughs> you see, I have found out that there's an artifact in the underworld that could help us. The Seeds of Discord. Master, I propose that we set out to find this artifact. First, you will gain in power for your coming revenge. And secondly, it should be fun imparting a little momentum to these repulsively pacifist halflings. 